Hi guys, this is the M scope times 7 to times 90 stereo microscope. It's designed for soldering and micro surgeries. So this is going to be my quick review for this stereo microscope. Um, as you, it's a uh, magnification is times 7 to times 90. And you can magnify up to times 90 from times 7 basically. Uh, you have two this these two eyepieces. This is already set up. It comes in a giant box. Um, I think it was. It felt like it was 60, 70 pounds. So it's pretty heavy. It's like a huge um, couple of box. So you have two eyepieces that comes off. Obviously, it's a microscope. Um, let me just put this back. And it also has. This is a triocular. So it also has like a attachment for the uh, USB camera. This USB camera is 5 megapixel. Uh, it comes with a USB cord that links to the computer. And you have the adjustment here. Going that this is the zoom in. So you have um, times one and up to uh, two, three, and you can get up to like 4.5 zoom. Uh, this is this is this not this adjustment for the microscope to go up and down in a quick manner and they articulate if you release this valve this articulate this way and once you lock in it, it stays locked in one place but the microscope can itself can um, move this way I only have one hand so I can't really do the adjustment on uh, maybe I could try yeah, see, see the microscope can be, once you loosen it, you can adjust it. So, just give me one sec. Let me put this back. One second. Okay. Alright, as you can see, this is pretty big. My hand is this big, and all this is solid, solid iron. Solid metal here. This is a counterweight. So what happened is you can slide this microscope back and forth without tilting over. This space is very heavy. It's um, take my word for it. It's probably like at least 20 to 30 pounds. It's heavy, just the base. So there's enough. And on top of that, you have a counterweight over here, which will keep this microscope from being falling over. It's very sturdy, and you can rotate it. It's it's very adjustable. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Rest of it, these knobs are just uh, tension. It, it, it keeps stuff, it keeps this mov motion lock in place. So I usually keep this loose. This locks this piece through this 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 piece over here, the, the bar here. So this piece is locked by this knob. So I, this knob is always being um, tensioned. Speaking of which, tighten it. Um, here, this knob locks this piece to this bar, so it's also always tensed up. Uh, underneath, very importantly, there's a little uh, retainer. It's it's blocking this piece from falling off. So when you assemble it, uh, make sure you put this piece back on. Otherwise, your microscope might fall off because this is not all that sturdy. Um, this can can get become loose and the microscope can fall right off while you're doing your work uh, with without this little piece over here. So that's pretty much it. Um, I I really like this. Uh, as you can see behind this microscope is what I had before. I also made a video for this. You can just see the size difference. This is a regular you no know, bi biocular microscope on M scope. It's good. It's good enough. It's good enough to get any work done. Uh, but because of this, it's head heavy, so it tilts over easily. I had to uh, like uh, tape over um, a dumb well a uh, weight weight plate to keep it like tilting over. Uh, it comes with a U US uh, LED light. This is the old one. I don't think I made a re review on the LED light yet, but it's pretty much you know it turns on. And since it's LED, it's cool to touch. It's not gonna burn you. But you only have like one light bulb in there. And this, oh the price range of this um, microscope, it's $200. This, this is the one I'm doing review, it was 
um, you can buy this, both of these came from Amazon. Um, you can buy with the camera, which I regret I did. Um, I don't think this is a good deal at all for the camera. It was 200 and 200 something included in the $800 price. So without a camera, this microscope realistically is only $600 or less. Yeah, it's, it's about $500, $600. So I definitely would, would buy, if I were you, um, you're doing like soldering, micro soldering. If you're a completely beginner, um, you don't want to spend that much money. You should get this one. It's only two hundred dollars and it's cheap and quick, quick to use. And this, uh, I I would just buy this if I knew. Um, I I wouldn't even bother with this model down back there. Um, this is just so much better. Uh, obviously, due to its size and its articulation. It's easy to maneuver. It comes with, uh, I think this is 85 or 144 LED lights. So instead, of only have one LED light back there. You see that LED light? This one has 144, and you can just see like how bright it comes. Uh, it, this light can be detached and used onto any stereo microscope. It comes with a wire. It has a, a, a knob for adjusting brightness. On and off switch, so I can turn it on. And now the LED light's on and you can adjust the brightness. It's very similar to traditional halogen uh, lighting ring you get, but without actually being a fire hazard, since this is LED light. Also uses far less energy. So power-wise, it's also very powerful. And you can keep this on all day without worrying about like costing too much money. And that's an iPad, iPad 2 larger board. It's just there for demonstration purpose. Okay, that's, I, I usually just leave this on the, on the max. So, and let me just show you, since this is a triocular microscope, it has three lenses. Unfortunately, for some whatever reason, I guess it's a tradition, MSCO only makes two eyepieces down there. So what happened is when you switch, there's a little little knob here, a little, little poly, I don't know what to call it, it's a little bar, you pull it out. Um, this, when you put it in, this eyepiece gets, let me see, yes, this eyepiece gets light, so let me can see, there we go, so you can see a little bit through the microscope, uh, let me zoom in, and move this to a part that's, there we go, uh, hold on a sec, uh, so you can see it's, it gets a very clear image and you can zoom in this is 45x I think or probably more it doesn't really matter for soldering you 45 or 90 this goes up this microscope goes to 90 but 45 should be more than enough for soldering anything more you really not helping yourself with the soldering okay so from what I understand I own uh, the, the lens I put up here, like here, this little piece, it's only times 0.5. That's why I only go also 45. I think this this whole maximum uh, uh, zooming, it, it goes to 45 with this piece. But if you change this to 2, 2x, which comes in the box that when you buy this microscope, you can get this magnification up to um, 90. The only, the only part I don't like about getting the uh, times 2 is that once you mount that on, you get less distance here for you to do the soldering work. So even though you're zooming more, but you're not gonna have enough room to work underneath. So that's, that's the only downside with um, with the zooming. With the next one. Otherwise, I think this isn't perfect. It's, it's, um, I used, uh, you know, like in the OR, they use a medical stereo microscope that you do surgery, like real surgery on patients, and sometimes in the laboratory when, once those uh, microscopes get retired. So I used those stereo microscopes before. Those things cost like 220 even 30 grand, and probably more sometimes, maybe 50 grand microscope. Uh, they're not that much different, honestly. They, they Those microscopes were made in Germany, but um, they really, this, this is pretty good. This for eight hundred dollars, or actually six hundred dollars without a camera. It's it works really well. I mean, it 
I don't know how they do it. It's, <laughs> this is really, really cheap. If you're in the US, um, on Amazon you get free shipping. Um, if you're not in the US, on MSCO they also ship to um, worldwide, I guess. But they charge a lot on shipping due to the fact this thing is ridiculously heavy. It's like, it's at least, at least 70 to 80 pounds, I think. No, maybe 60 pounds, my bad. It's not that heavy, but pretty heavy. Okay, um, oh yeah, so I was saying, this little nub thing, when you pull it out, when you, you know, push it in, you get light coming through the eyepiece. When you pull it out, the camera gets light. It's not blocked. So it's like a little valve. You, you open, you pull it out, camera gets light to the computer. This piece becomes useless because it, it blocks the view. So this, it, it's like a little mirror. It, it reflects the view f f to here instead of being here. Uh, this eyepiece will always have light. You can always see, see through it. This eyepiece, now it's black. You just can't see anything from it because the light is going upward to here now. It's being reflected. So that's that's another part I don't like about this microscope because what the hell is the point if I get a triocular microscope and I can I can use one of the eyepiece when I recording my videos or taking picture um, with the microscope. But another downside of the microscope I didn't know before I bought is that apparently this thing, this USB camera, it doesn't record video. It only take pictures. So let me show you. Let me turn on the, my computer. And let me show you the software it came with the. Um, I'm sure there's a way to get it work as a third party. Like, oh, let's just get, get this. Um, give me one sec. Let me just find like um, a place where you just see. Okay. Alright, so so this is uh, right now you're looking at a uh, computer, and I'm zooming all the way I guess, and you're looking at the iPad 2 FPC connector right over here, the FPC connector. And this is what, what you see on the computer once you focus. So you zoom out, that's a FPC connector. And you zoom in, that's what you get, that's the interface you see on the uh, computer. I, I tried, um, I don't think this software can record videos. It only takes pictures. So if you press capture here, it, shows, it has a lot of functions. It has all this frame rates, uh, the calibration, and all the cool stuff. But it seems to only be being able to take pictures. You may you may be able to find the party um, webcam software or some kind of camera software on the computer to get this USB camera to record videos. But I haven't been able to find a way to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to return just the camera. And I'm gonna use this microscope. The MSCO on Amazon also sells a little piece connector here. You can um, you can get that connector. I think it's ninety dollars or eighty something dollars. Then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have for my um, I'm gonna hook up this camera. It's the uh, Canon Rebel T3i or you get the T4i. I guess this is the new one. This is the old camera I have, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook hook it up with the new connector, not this not this eyepiece, not this um, this lens. I'm gonna hook up to the uh, attachable lens from M Scope, which costs like ninety dollars on Amazon. Um, I'm gonna put the link for this microscope be beneath the description, and so it's the microscope um, behind it if you want to get a smaller one. And I'm also gonna get the connector, um, which I don't have right now. The link in my description in this YouTube video. So you can see what it looks like, what the spats and the prices. They change the prices all the time. They usually go down. So I've been waiting for the Gatorade camera for a while. I mean this, sorry, this microscope for a while. I think the price dropped like a few hundred since the last time I see it. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's You get pretty good picture 
You get pretty good picture from the from the computer. And you get pretty good picture. I really like this light and this whole thing set up is just really awesome. It's sexy. Uh, it's a little bit bulky, but it's pretty awesome. And the, the best part is the, the eyepiece. Um, you can really see it really well. Let me just push this back in. So now I have two eyepieces. And uh, you can't, it's really hard for you to do this with two, but single lens. Let me see if you can. Let me, let me just get a focus. Right now it's looking at nothing. Let me just get something to look at. Alright. Okay. Alright. So this is, um. Right now. Right now you're looking at the iPad 2 LCD connector. The dirty go pink ones. And this is zoom out version. And it's zooming in. It's just a knob and you can adjust it. It's, it's brilliant. I mean, it's just... It's gorgeous. This is what you see through the eyepiece. Um, but it's much better picture when you use both of your eyes and seeing at the same time. Instead of looking through like a camera. It, it, it's actually a lot better picture than this. Okay, um, I think I'm running low on time now. I have to... Uh, finish this up. So thank you for watching. This Again, this is the M-Scope times 7 times 90 camera. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time when I get the attachment piece for my um, DS uh, DSR camera to be hooked up.